My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. Every single week we break down full UFC fight cards. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. And we're also giving away $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets, signs up with one of our five betting partners and makes a deposit, will get $50 from us. Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, however you want it. And this is brought to you by EarnU.io. EarnU.io is the world's first sports and esports prediction game, allowing you to earn crypto risk free. Check it out now at EarnU.io. Next up at UFC Vegas 52, we have the main event of the evening. We have Amanda Limos taking on Jessica Andraj. Amanda Limos, 11 1 overall, 5 0 in her last five, coming off of a close. Very close win over Angela Hill. Uh, Jessica Andrade, 22-9 and nine overall. She's 2-3 and three in her last five. Coming off a KO win over Cynthia Calvillo. I mentioned this in my Quick Picks video. A lot of you guys are going to complain, oh, what a horrible main event. This card is trash. Two women in the main event. But frankly, I actually don't mind this main event at all. These are two very good women. They're both in it, very exciting fights. And... This has straight up title implications. That this is almost a, I mean, quite possibly a title number eliminator. one, con- yeah, a number one contender. It's definitely fight. a title so, eliminator. Yeah, so I, I don't think it's, you know, I, the hate that it's a woman main event is absurd to me because this is a really fun fight and maybe more fun than, yeah, it might be the best fight in the card. We'll see what happens. The most but, hits harder than most male straw weights. I mean, that's <laughs> what we, I mean, I mean, sorry. you're not wrong there. Amanda Limos is very big for the division. She's a Muay Thai striker with fast hands, a ton of power, as Jacob mentioned. And she does a very good job keeping her fights at Muay Thai range. She has six fights in the UFC. She did lose her 100% takedown accuracy when she went 0 for 3 against Angela Hill. She has power in her hands and she's dangerous on the ground. And if it wasn't for her less than stellar performance in her last fight, I actually think she'd be the favorite here. I think the odds makers saw the fight against Angela Hill and they're like, whoa, maybe she's a little bit too hyped of a prospect because if I think she blew through Angela Hill the way the odds said that she would, I think she'd be the favorite here. Jessica Andrade, a former world champion and contender at multiple weight classes. She has beaten some of the best women on planet Earth, including Raquel Pennington, Claudia Gajaya. Tisha Torres, Rose Namajunas, and more. She also lost to the best in the world, like Valentina Shevchenko, Joanna Jerzejczyk, and Wei Li. She did lose to Raquel Pennington. So, you know, some of those were one-in-one fights, but she has beaten the best and lost to only the best. She has not lost to anyone that wasn't a champion or a contender, but she has only lost to the best in the world, and they were all very competitive fights. Technique-wise, Jessica is a good striker with a ton of power. And her power isn't just in her hands. Look at how she KO'd Rose Namajunas by straight up dumping her on her head, which is technically illegal. It is against the rules to slam somebody on their head. But she dumped her, knocked her out, and that's uh, cemented her legacy as a champion. She's very good on the ground and uses solid ground and pound. Her BJJ is not the best, but her takedowns, are also not technical, but they're effective. She'll pick you up, she'll dump you, she'll start pounding away, she'll work from there. And she is a big time bully and she has a lot of success with that bully style when she can be a bully. If she can't be a bully and she needs to rely on clean technique, she can struggle at times. And this is a great fight. It's definitely the right fight to make here. Amanda Limos has steadily climbed the ranks and Jessica Andrade continues to destroy anyone who isn't the champion. Right now, the odds have Andrade as almost a 2-1 to favorite. I do think that's fair. Uh, I mentioned I think Lemos would be the favorite if she beat Angela Hill, but or, you know, more convincingly. Um, I do think the odds are pretty fair because Jessica Andrade is a proven entity. She continues to pass every single test that comes her way. Amanda Lemos, on the other hand, looked unstoppable until... The Angela Hill fight. Frankly, she should have lost that fight. I think you were screaming that she lost that fight, right? Didn't you pick Angela Hill and you thought Amanda lost that fight? Okay. Wow. Incredibly helpful. Uh, And frankly, Angela Hill is a mid-level fighter to me. I do not think she's one of the best in the world. And the fact that that fight was so competitive 
was not a good look, and I might be putting way too much stock into how Amanda looked in that fight, but she could not put away Angela Hill. She probably should have lost a decision against Angela Hill um, because Angela Hill was able to reverse Lemos, take down Lemos. She racked up four minutes of control time in a three-round fight, and she landed more total strikes. As far as the stats are concerned, Angela Hill beat her. At 115 pounds, Jessica Andrade can absolutely be the bully that she needs to be. So I see Jessica Andrade bullying her way to a solid decision, but Amanda Lemos hits like a truck, and she may... uh, May make me look stupid here, but I like Andrade to be a bully. What do you think? I mean, that's that's that is the line of this fight because Andrade excels when she can just bully people, and that's how she fights. She gets in there, she body locks you, she throws you to the ground, and she just beats the living shit out of you. And she is not going to bully Amanda Lemos. Let's talk about the Angela Hill fight because Angela Hill has never been knocked out in her UFC career. You you mentioned Lemos is supposed to run through her a minute into the fight. Lemos hits her with a front kick and throws her on her back. Nearly knocks her unconscious and for some reason went to the ground with her. That was a fight IQ mistake. And Angela Hill was able to grind out the fight after that. But the KO shot was there. She hit her with the front kick. She knocked her nearly unconscious. And she lets her back to the lead. She finished that fight the way she's supposed to. She looks like the world beater that she is because she has that unreal power. And what we saw in that Angela Hill fight was she has cardio she carried that she carried that power into the third round was still throwing very very heavy shots into the third round um there were some shots from angela hill as well some 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 grappling some takedown shots where amanda lamosa was able to scramble out of positions get back to her feet in the third round of that fight where she put a lot into those first uh, couple rounds i know that she was on her back at some points that fight but I just don't see Andrade being able to get inside the distance to those body lock situations and taking her to the ground. Andrade only wins when she can out-muscle somebody. That's why she struggled going up in weight. That's why she's back down. You saw with the bigger girls what happens. Uh, Valentina Shevchenko, not saying that Amanda Lemos is a Valentina Shevchenko, but she could probably hit harder than Valentina Shevchenko. That girl hits harder. Hard, man, and she is precise with those strikes. She knocks everyone out, including nearly Angela Hill in her last fight. I think she does the same to Andrade. I can't believe that she was the underdog. I thought that she'd be the favorite in this matchup. Um, if it wasn't for the Beverly Hill Ninja, I was going to make her probably my lock of the week as well. I love her in this matchup. I think her power translates. I think she knocks out Andrade, and uh, Andrade can't get inside to get those takedowns. Yeah, we're split here, and this this might be a hill that I am willing to die on because I think Jessica Andrade can bully. First of all, 22 wins against some of the best women on planet Earth. That is a lot of experience. She has been in there with literally the best in multiple divisions. And at 150, if this was 125, I agree with you. But this is at 115. And she is strong, powerful, can fight the full five rounds forward pressure can work the clinch can hold her there she can take big shots i i do think jessica andrage can bully here can win here amanda lemos hits hard she's looked very good she's looked very good but she didn't look great in that angela hill fight and it is hard to just take one single fight but there have been situations in the past where amanda lemos was pushed around a little bit controlled a little bit and then able to pull it out with a knockout because of that power. I would say Amanda Lemos is almost knockout or bust because, okay, she did not knock out Angela Hill. She won that decision that a lot of people disagreed with. But if it wasn't for the knockdown, she definitely loses, definitely loses that fight. So I think she is knockout or bust. I can't see her winning this fight if she doesn't knock out Andrade. And I, who has knocked out Andrade that Amanda Lemos is going to do it? So I like Jessica Andrade to do what she does, right? I was wrong with Aspen Ladd and Raquel Pennington. This is a similar matchup. Jessica Andrade is going to Raquel Pennington, Amanda Lemos. Push her around, hold her down, just put the squeeze on her, be a bully. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, I do agree with kind of the knockout or bust. I think Lamos in this fight specifically specifically against Andraj with so much uh, experience, I think she probably needs to give herself two rounds. If she's training for this fight to like, oh, I'm going to play it safe and try to make sure I have cardio for five rounds, I wouldn't play that game. I would throw it all in the two rounds because after it gets to two or three rounds, you're probably going to lose anyway. So who cares if you have cardio, <laughs> if you get you know lose by a little bit or lose by a lot. Go in all two rounds, uh, the first two rounds, blow your load, get the knockout, get out of there. Um, because I think if this sees a third round uh, or past that, it probably is Andrade's fight. I mean, that's a pretty funny game plan. If you're her coach, we don't need cardio. Don't even worry about the cardio. Yeah, I mean, some people, some fighters literally fight like that. They just go all in on the first round, and then all of a sudden it's the end of the first round. Like, oh, shit. I mean, that was Connor basically. He didn't fight. To, I mean, he ended up being that kind of fighter, but he's one of those guys where if you get him out of the first round, yeah. 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 No, and it, Amanda Lemos be... is the Connor McGregor of the women's strawweight division. <laughs> Well, the good news is uh, we're, we're split here, but there are a lot of neither one of us are like complete morons right now. Right. We're all we're both spitting facts here. We're both very logical. And I can see in the live chat people are split. And that point is this is a good main event. That's what you want in a main event. Right. You don't want a main event where somebody's a nine to one favor and you're positive. You know who's going to win. You want these main events where you're not positive of the outcome. And whoever wins is going to get a title shot. I think it's a solid main event. I'm good for it. $7,300 Amanda Lemos. She'll 100% be worth it if she gets a knockout. Are you going to have her in your DraftKings lineup or you don't trust her that much? Take well, this slot. is the issue. I literally have picked like so many underdogs, so I have a lot of people <laughs> in that in that money range. So it's uh, Andrade's tough. Um, she's definitely probably one of the better uh, favorites on this card, but as far as like just complete abilities, but yeah, I will have to take a look at it, see how it plays out. Yeah, and Jessica Andrade at eighty nine hundred dollars. The problem is, I do like the other big time nine thousand something fighters, so I don't know if I can afford Andrade and. The other, so I'll have to take a closer look, but she's probably a solid draft king. First of all, it's five rounds. Second of all, she puts in work. Takedowns are five points. Control time against the cage or the ground is worth it. So Jessica Andrade probably puts up some big time points here, and she's probably worth the eighty nine hundred dollars. Monkey knife fight strike line. I do think this is, um, if not a decision, a very late stoppage. They should get past these numbers. I see a more and more fight here with Andrade being busy. Lemos, like you said, chasing stoppages that don't necessarily get there. Uh, the strike is going to be two to nothing. It's going to be a boom, boom, fight over. Two nothing. Okay. Yep. Solid betting advice there. You should take that. Go to wewantpicks.com slash MKF. Sign up. They will instantly match your deposit. And then just do what Jacob says. And if you get it wrong, just his Twitter handle is right there in his screen name. Just let him know. Hey, uh, my kids can't, we can't even get my kids Lunchables. So he'll, he'll send you money to feed your kids. That's what he does. I might get, Lunchable sounds so good right now. What's your favorite Lunchable? Pizza? I was was literally going to say not the pizza ones. It's cold. Just the good old fashioned I know, but you didn't, you didn't take the, uh, ham. Oh, turkey's away. Turkey comes, always comes with a crunch bar. That's a win-win. No, they've changed it up. They all like come with, uh, nope. Turkey with crunch Gummy bar. worms now. Um, what? Yep. Yeah, lots of gummy worms. Most of them have gummy worms now. Or Oreos, which is always annoying. Anyway. Oreos are a mess. Oreos are such a mess to eat. I don't mind Oreos, but I got to be in the mood. It's not a... Oreos not like, ooh, I have Oreos. It's like, yeah, all right. It's You're like digging them out of your teeth for the next hour. Yeah. I was thinking of a you teeth joke. You don't care, but look joke. at my teeth. Yeah. I was thinking of a teeth joke for you. I had nothing. Anyway. We want picks.com slash bet. Sign up, make a deposit. Let us know if you do. We will send you $50 